local is a questionable term. The emperor, um, the emperor's I, edicts, yeah. the the emperor's edicts are officially worldwide. Mm -hmm. Now, worlds where they're wide. yeah, well, worlds wide. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, how they are enforced, how stringently they are enforced, varies from place to place. But they're common but enough that they would be known. But we do know our last names and family names are. Oh yeah, no, all all of you are well, well, well aware of how hunted you are. Oh. I'm I'm assuming at this point that all of you are taking some measure of concealing yourself because after mm -hmm. 19 years, you simply kinda, would it's kind be. Of a, it, yeah. 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 My name isn't Vincent. It's Vincent. <laughs> And, it's food and we don't even really use a family name. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We don't have a yeah. family name. We don't have a last name. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? So, he says, um, so, do you really think that a tavern is a really good place? It, I mean, aside from the fact that adventurers always go here, and, you know, uh, if I were wanting to skim some information, I would des definitely listen outside of a tavern window. I'm gonna look you over need to line up. <coughs> look, guy. I've been protecting this street since I was a kid. They're safe. Heck, we didn't even have to clear out the tavern. What? Oh. All of you be quiet. We are going to go downstairs. We are going to eat. We are going to tell jokes. We are not going to talk about names or pertinent information or anything that is even remotely important until it's time. I and you will know, know that it will be time I don't care. You, you win are, the world ends. You just, you just tell them the joke about the mouse. About Lord tell Valiant them the joke and about his the new shoes. It's quite funny, I might add. Once we, let's, let's go. Let's go eat right now. They are purple. I'm very uh, hungry. <laughs> I'm going to look over at you. I'm time. getting ahead of myself. I will tell <laughs> well, the story like... over wine. It's quite <laughs> funny. What I'm do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> it's a gummy bear. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that silence. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a better one. Three girls are sitting at a bar and they're talking about how loose they are. One oh. says that she can fit a sausage. The other says that she can fit a cucumber. The other one, <laughs> the last one, slides down the bar stool. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sitting at another table, if that is alright, and <laughs> you get like a confused look and from I Jonathan, and he, with he says, I don't, I don't get it. I <laughs> <Angus> just <laughs> looks mildly disappointed. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, you give one then. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not that kind of entertainer. Okay, okay. What is you, that Wiggy. supposed to mean? <laughs> it means whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> and he actually says that. Zig looks at Vincent and she goes, Okay, Vin you, Twiggy, you get a million gold and you can do whatever you want with it. But your eyes, instead of being here, are now here. Would you take the money? Well, yes, you could just use the court wizard to reverse the magic that has been done to you and you will have one million no, more to invest into the state it's and stuck, that way it's stuck there, and it can't yeah. move no magic doesn't exist it's stuck like this and you can't move it and you're stuck like this sick i have missed you but i am going to need some wine if we are going to continue this conversation at that point I'm just, wine I'm, I'm, sounds I'm, good Get us some I just, wine. I just, I just hand him a water skin I have. I, I don't tell him what's in it. I just hand it to him. He, he, he will smell it, and if it oh. doesn't pass, it's, then... I mean, I'm it's alcoholic. It's not wine, but it's alcoholic. <laughs> you want to grow some, some hair on your chest? Twiggy. I, I have no yeah, hair. Yeah, you want some of that. And it's fine that way. Thank you very much. Okay. I take the wine skin and take a drink of it. It wasn't lying, it was ale. It was very I strong. Like, take whatever it was and I take a drink of it. Yeah. It was. Did you make that batch yourself, Zag? 
<laughs> you make it. I just drink it. Fucking so we hell, spend we the time it. in between here when everybody leaves. I, I spend the time trying to crop them all from... I try and help that one understand jokes. I try and help <laughs> that one understand what entertaining is supposed to actually be. <laughs> I try and keep that one as innocent-ish as possible. And yeah, then possible. I try and explain the purple one jokes too, which is, you know, gummy bear. But hey, does anyone get my <laughs> answer oh, about if your you want, If you want entertaining, I, I can entertain us. I thought it was a good joke. <laughs> Just... <laughs> It was, it like was to, a fine joke. Would buddy. you like to see a magic trick? I would love a magic trick. See, you can't How about my new? You can't use magic here. Magic's illegal. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. This is completely all natural. Just one in a short second. <laughs> he, he digs out into his backpack and reaches in and like throws a few things aside, a few cogs, whatever else, a piston, and then he pulls out this box. He slaps it down. He says, one moment. And he takes a handle and starts, like, cranking it like a, uh... <laughs> uh -oh. like, a like an engine. And he keeps doing this, like... Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and it eventually starts up. And you hear just a bunch of steam compression and vibrating from this box. And he opens the top. He takes out a uh, a broom or a really long thing and just starts shoving things inside of it. It's a it's a very mechanical bag of folding. And he starts shoving. <laughs> he shoves a chair inside. He shoves uh, uh, things that should not be able to fit inside this box. Well inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Ziggler reaches over and picks up like a. Whoa! I've got echo. What, 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 what he's not telling you is it's not actually a bag of holding, it's a mulcher. <laughs> Big I, just, uh, I put my hand in it. <laughs> I just hand it to him? No, I put no. my hand in it. Oh my god. You put your hand in there? <laughs> <laughs> it feels cold and... and... Yeah, it feels <laughs> cold, I guess, because no air. Well, looks like we found that one maiden you were talking about. <laughs> oh, um, oh, the 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 tavern did have a policy on stealing things. Hang on, and he starts like sh pulling all the things. He just like dumps it out and puts the thing away and says, "Uh, that's all I have." Okay, pick that, the that's... chairs back up. Don't leave them all oh, on the ground. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. He puts it all back. And like one, a few chairs seems to tire him out. He's like sitting there, like panting, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's big. Smacks him on the back. Oh. Well, <laughs> like to make I that. smack Zig on the forehead <laughs> with the <laughs> end of <laughs> with the <laughs> end of my little staff. Stop it. There is a joke that my mom used to say. That she used to say, "Mommy, why are you pushing the carriage off the cliff?" She'd be like, shh, you'll wake your father. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the bar. That's and sure. <laughs> I'm also going to go people to the bar. Keep up I, this I fantastic conversation. <laughs> and now, now, here's the... Very good at chart. <laughs> oh, I have, I have a gnomish joke. It's really, really, really fun. It starts out... Okay, the no, mountain. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm already walking away to go to the bar. I am for no mistake. Yeah. It's really, it's only four pages long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. You can hear at the bar, like, I am so sorry. I don't actually know these people. I just want to here take some money and. A force buy... here? I'm here yes. against my will, really. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Again, this is... I have a genuine question for the bartender. It's a family do accept, reunion. Do, do you accept wooden coins? With family, I mean... <laughs> the, the bartender just kind of stares at you. <laughs> I stare back. I'm dead serious. Why would they take wood? Um, I, I take wood coins. It's what I buy stuff with. So back and Go back to your sister yes, keep a I, better I, eye on him I, 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 I buy you a drink <coughs> I buy you a drink okay. oh and Vincent 
Uh, Oi, Zag, get me one as well. <laughs> I'll buy everyone a drink, apparently. Oh, All right. Awesome. <laughs> so if I can get the finest wine for one cup, and the rest can get the finest water with some... <laughs> Do I hear this? You, uh, give me perception. You, uh, <laughs> I am at the bar with him. No, you won't, you don't won't hear, hear this. Apparently, but, but... Zag is both... Both he can't smell and he can't hear. Yes. I want to have two pictures. I want a glass of wine and a pitcher of very diluted ale. Jonathan shouts out, I'd like some water, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say like, this is basically water. I mean, yes, it's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is basically I, I, water. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> and, uh, and just to top you calm down and this, I will just down this, this glass of wine and this is going to be a long night yeah, yeah Caleb, <laughs> Caleb you're from this neighborhood and yeah. this is the liveliest this bar has ever been yeah I, I, th <laughs> I believe so so and, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, the, the, I'm we, the barkeep the barkeep will definitely remember this night yeah I will walk oh up to the barkeep and I'll 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 basically say, I hope you have a good time. And I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna give him half a uh, half a gold, and he should know what I'm asking for. You re you realize that he just got paid am... fifty gold to be like just yeah. kind of quiet about us no, no, being no, no. here. I, I, I've been to these taverns for like okay, twenty yeah. years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he should know what I'm drinking. It's basically just yeah. uh, it's just watered down beer because I don't really like the taste, but I want to feel the well the thingy. You you want the alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur is just sort of such a dead uh, human thing to do. Sitting there with his arms crossed, just thinking, these are the people that I'm going to have to fight <laughs> even. <laughs> 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 No, he was <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> watching as Zag is slowly refilling his glass with his own ale because he realized that was watered down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> well. We're leaving the city tonight, and we can never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going, as, as he says that, I, 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 I'm walking over, I was about to say that, I put touch Arthur on the shoulder and say, Look, it's nice to have you back. I was about to say that, and as you say it, you Arthur will just feel my squeezing of it into the shoulder. You said, what now? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> just drink your beer. What? <laughs> Yes, oh, thank you. And then I'm going to realize that I'm running my claws into Arthur's shoulder. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> that, that, Arthur Declan? just looks down. He didn't even notice it. <laughs> De Declan, why, why, why are we here exactly? What did... No, I mean... See, I just uh, we I'm need you to drink this glass before you continue. Don't so make me oh, leave you alone with Zig. So if you just drink this <laughs> for a little while, please don't do that. No, it's all right. It's just water with, and it looks like oh, I mean, yeah, it's basically water. <laughs> Can the tavern close now, please? Yeah, you 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 spend you spend two hours of this going on, um, before the tavern finally dies down and closes up for the night. Come on, we're all playing kids. We're all <laughs> clowns. Let us be clowns. You're all in your early 20s at this point. Yeah. I mean, you're, yeah. I'm in my Arthur, late yeah, 20s. They're, they're all children. Well, yeah, early 20s, late 20s. But yeah. They're all children. <laughs> Arthur Little. will have uh, eaten something. Basically gotten like a, a whole hog or something like that. Something really big just digged in the entire time. Yeah, you certainly can. This place does uh, does have all that kind of stuff, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, they do not take wooden currency. <laughs> no, they don't <laughs> take wooden currency. Uh, I, I, I will refrain from currency. getting food. It's wood! <laughs> it works back home! 
wild. Steel. Will they take stone? I have stone. No, <laughs> they take the gold shiny. I don't have a lot of that, though. Then you should have spent your other stuff where they take it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> this was the savings I had. I brought along. I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just hold up my hand, Vincent. Didn't you have one of those boomstick thingies? Uh, no, no. Actually, no. it's the newest model. Oh, no, not no. to brag, but it's very expensive. I will go get your friend. My my name is on the side of it. If you look here, I'll it do says. It. Uh, if you would like, I could, uh, I could give you some upgrades to it. I could, I could definitely improve the power output on it. Oh, well, it's not about the power. It's about for the you see. Get smacked. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's fine. No. See, it's What's very fan. Like, I'm pretty sure that was on the list that we talked about. What list? We have a list. Yes. We have a list? No. What list? Alright, so... <laughs> as I say that, I walk over to the door and I close it. And... And then I stop and I think and I open it back up. And I let Shyla in because, you know. Oh no, that's it's that. Not for, it's not good for her to be on the roof that long. Oh, does this tavern have animal yes. policy? I don't know if this tavern allows animals. We make yes, it our. I, I agree with you. We I get, think it's, it's against the health code, right? What can I pick? Against the, wolf against the health code. I, and I lock it. <laughs> now, all of you, so, be quiet. I need to think. Okay. Can I pet her? No. Oh. So, so a a you, a you, tell me, you tell me to be quiet. The second, like, it, he's quiet for one second, he starts digging into his backpack and ruffling through loudly and just starts, like, putting pieces together. Stop it! Stop toying and tinkering and no firearms or explosions. I'll, I'll throwing you're, back stuff. As you're saying that, he's literally like halfway pulling out a rifle and then he just like pushes it back down like <laughs> I mean I'll, I'll what be the hell was that? No, you know, Nothing. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. Hold that list. It's Very better expensive. if I, I don't. Love it. No. Oh, good. You should totally put the lockout password back here. Hold on. I didn't hear that, whoever said that. It wasn't any of us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Unless Tyler's voice dropped. Okay. That, um, was, that was the wrong way for dropped. <laughs> oh, right. Rose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Voice, right, Rose? Rose. Rose. Yeah. Risen. Risen. All right. Risen. Wow. Hi. So. I believe it's about time you tell us why we're here. What was that, Kim? I believe it's about time you tell us why we're here. Well, you know, if you would all shut up for two seconds, I would do it. I haven't spoken yet. I know why. No, we're... you just pulled a rifle out of your bag. You're right, that, though. You weren't that was speaking. My, that was my cousin wearing the Wi-Fi password. She also says hi. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now. Tell her she can go to hell. <laughs> uh, she's, I think, 14. I stand by my decision. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. Tell me snakes, no. though. For those of no you regret. that have not met Shiloh, this is Shiloh. She is your friend. Uh, yeah. Shiloh, <laughs> but I can't these, pet her. These are not your food. Now. And I open the door back up, and I say, make sure we're not disturbed. I let her back out. Now. I Shiloh. Fish you up, puppy. You're good, And she goes back out. We're already out, my love. All right. Yeah. Now, I assume you all got to uh, see see your uh, your parents, right? Yeah. Hmm. They How all came you back to you from beyond the grave, the pale. In one way or another. Yes, he didn't show up. From so you now I mean, know, so you now all know that they are dead. He's not dead. Parents he's, are. He's dead. The son of a bitch just went to a place where he. Okay, I'm not arguing semantics. Stop it. <laughs> they're, they're dead. My parents are dead. It's okay. Now. It's okay. Great bedside manner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dwarf dead. You all... Um... Yes, John. 
No, 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 never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I imagine they were uh, vague in their descriptions of what it is that they want you to do. No, he was pretty clear, the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he was! <Okay. laughs> you all are going to fight the evil that they could not fight. You have had varying lives. You have not been dealt a fair hand, but nobody in this world has really been dealt a fair hand. And unfortunately, it's not going to get any better from here on out. I wish I could tell you that it would, but... Have you ever said anything positive in your yeah, time? Yeah, you're very positive. Yeah. You're not so really good at be, inspiring people. I used to be a very positive person. But... Maybe after is, this is all over, we can pull the stick out of your ass. Mm, no. I like her. Not mm. a very big I like thing. her. <laughs> the good news is, is that you all, like it or not, have been dealt this hand. And you do have what you need in order to defeat it. This big emperor bad person. Falcon, Falcorian. You, how do you, you, how do you say his name? supposed to say his name out loud because he will know where you are and he will find you. Is that a thing, Casey? That is a thing, yes. Yeah. It's a real All right, then I don't I, actually say his name. Yeah, you, yeah, the Black De Emperor. Declan would know that if his name is spoken, then then he knows it. Or at least that's the what the populace is led to. Yeah, it's like he who shall not be named. Is yeah. that like a thing that is possible in magic? Uh, yes, yes uh, definitely. If, if you are okay. in, there was All a right. whole thing for 3.5 so, where that was a thing, so yeah. We are going to defeat this evil together. I am going to take you from what you are now, which is a bunch of squabbling children. Alright. Sir, I'm a gentleman. You say what? We've been, you, I don't know, we've been nice. Have you seen yourself for the past two hours? I look fabulous. No, but yeah, I don't have a I was a human. <laughs> You will all I mean, go stronger. Not much. You will all gain power. And when the time is right, we will face this evil together and we will defeat it. It's as positive as you're going to get. <laughs> now, does anybody have any okay, questions? Huh? Just like muttering under my voice. Hey, hell, the orcs weren't even Okay, mystery. good. I take <laughs> a bag and I just kind of like. Plopped the on the fuck? table. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that, that was the bag getting plopped onto the table. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the world goes upside down. <laughs> and and he just, he just kind of like is digging through this bag. Now you guys didn't have questions, right? Uh, well, the last time someone dug through a bag, they pulled out a rifle. So I'm a little <laughs> bit concerned about that bag. And who's single? <laughs> it's genuinely Zach's <laughs> question. So, Dag, uh, I don't think now's the time. <laughs> I'm listening well, listen to your sister. We're all not single anymore. We are all friends and we are here together. I prefer a platonic oh, relationship. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if we, if we were to f focus on the part where our parents apparently all briefly came back to life, what was that about? He was never dead. He just got there. I understand mm. that you hate your father, and that's a whole other thing. But for the rest of us, we just had this very unpleasant thought where their parents just woke them up in the middle of the night, face to face with them, just hacing at them. My, mine was dead to life, life and just ours, ours was scaring them to life. Oh, yeah. you didn't have that. No. Yeah. no. Right. Uh, so, some, of you, some of you actually were, were unaware. For sure, if your parents were actually dead or not. Yeah, they, they were ours just, was kind of vague. Yeah. I mean. Oh, that's a good point. Would you like to know oh how my. your parents died? Mm. What? No. <laughs> I don't think I can handle this right now. There's a lot of things going on. No, thank Maybe you. tell us later. Oh, uh, I kind of reach in and I pull out this long sword scabbard. Ah. And he kind of like sets it down on the table right in front of. Zag or Zig or whichever one, the one with the axe. 
Me. I'm Zig. Zig or Sag. One of the two. <laughs> this was just, your mother. Just put it in between them. <laughs> yeah, just but actually, yeah, that's a good idea. This was your mother's. It's a scabbard. You see that it is a. Uh, it's covered in notches and cuts, and and it's got one particularly big chunk in it. And and I kind of went, yeah, that was her scabbard. Sometimes she forgot to take the sword out of the scabbard. Hmm. I recognize it. Yeah, you you definitely recognize it. Yeah. I just like run my fingers over the top of it, just like every little dent and cut. Well, one wow. of you take that, and then he. You actually do. Out. Do you actually do know that the, the cuts along the side of it? Um, she used to basically put notches in it after battles to mark how many battles she had won. If that's the case, then on Zig's um, great axe is little notches down the side of the handle. Nice. Nice. Not nearly as many as on uh, your mother's scabbard. No, oh. not nearly as many. Yeah, work on it. Hundreds. Yeah. Oh, that's why she's running her fingers. And then there's mm. this, and he pulls out a um, necklace. So before before we move on from there, no, do, no. does either one of you pick up the scabbard? I do. Right, okay. I'll give you that sheet then. There you go. Oh. Pulls out a necklace. And he said that, uh, now this, this was a trophy that she took from the first skeleton that she ever killed. Now, it was enchanted by his mother to glow whenever they were uh, undead. Yeah, no, undead. By, by, so by, his, by his this? mother, he's referring to Arthur's mother. Yes, mm. I'm pointing at the purple guy. Blue. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, it was her favorite color. Purple. <laughs> I mean, blue and purple. Purple consists of blue as well. Shut up, Jonathan. He has a point. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Shut up, so, Jonathan. Okay. one of you wear it, and then the other one watch to see if it ever starts glowing. Okay? Teamwork. Arthur. He leans over at Jonathan and goes, I, I, got, I got that. There's, there's blue and purple. You strike me as mm -hmm. a man that can take a beating. <laughs> what? I suppose Did I you say you want a beating? It, that's what he, oh. he's doing. A thing where with family mementos here. Let's, let's leave the bedroom. Why would you want to beat him? It's very. You, uh, are, let, you could do that later. Huh? What? I believe that you and me are gonna be best friends, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my hand. What? To well, have. Oh, okay. Yeah, he goes over and, and shakes his hand. Okay. You stand in front, I'll hit him in the back. <laughs> what are they talking about? We'll I'm surrounded by crazy for... people. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Okay, so then, who, who, then takes, the... who takes the necklace? Yes. It was... Rushes? It was Bra it was uh, Braska's Zach. necklace, yes. Yes. Zach, take it. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. All right. Okay. There and then go. he goes back to digging, and he pulls out this big mechanical box. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Walk this for closer. you. His glove lights up blue, and he starts like scanning it, basically. This <laughs> is the key to victory. Your father made this. Nobody really knows what it does, what it's for. But if you put it against any mechanical lock, it'll reconfigure itself into a key for the lock. So don't break it. Shit. Fucking skeleton key, Strange man. Strange looking key. Yeah, mm. motherfucker. Mm. Nice. He looks all over it. He starts, like, investigating every little nook and cranny of it. Yeah, Tall. this this is master's work. This is definitely something your father made. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've just added you to the item. So all of these are appearing in the unique items list. Mm. I already saw it. Okay. 
Okay, so, and he goes back to digging, and he pulls out a small seashell. A what? A seashell. Oh. A cell. A shell from the sea. It's made of onyx. And he holds it out to to the human. Which human? Vince. <laughs> Vince. It's three. Two. <laughs> two and a half. Two and, a half. Two yeah. and sometimes three. So, yeah. <laughs> Me and Zig together count as one, technically. Yeah. <laughs> Was yeah. one of your father's listening devices. I uh, don't know where the other half of it is, but you would put it over your ear. You can hear the ocean. And you can hear the other one. Oh. oh. Thank you. Um. How, how did, when did you, how did you get this? It's not important. <laughs> you should have stopped it, where... thank you. Uh, do you want me to go get Shyla? Thank you. Uh... Yes? Dag <laughs> <laughs> still really wants to pet the wolf. <laughs> you're good, I'll let you pet the wolf. But you have to be good. And if you're bad, you have to pet the wolf too, apparently. So I will just <laughs> stick with my shell. <laughs> if you're bad, the wolf gives you kisses. The wolf gets to pet you and you. Yeah, the wolf it. pets you if you're bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Hmm. Hmm. And he goes back to digging. I'm sure your mother gave me something. <clears throat> Where is it? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? There it is. And he pulls out a medallion. Little locket. Do I know the right manner to, to push the hinges, Casey? Um, yes, you do, yes. Okay. Oh, pay attention, I'm only going to show you this one. And he kind of holds it out so you can all all see. And, and he pushes the combination, and you see that Arthur watches the intently opens up and produces a small shimmering image of all of you as children in a park. You see written on side, written inside the words, I'm the star. Yeah, Arthur, you actually do recognize immediately um, the writing on the inside of the, the locket is actually your mother's writing. And it is like a magically shimmering image of all of you playing in the park. Arthur holds out his hand. There's just more to this amulet than what is immediately available. But I don't know. You have to figure it out. But a wake fucking dwarf and puts it on immediately. All right. Now it goes back to digging. And he pulls out a big fur coat. Ooh. And says, This was your grandmother's. And he looks to Zig and Zag. One of you should take this. It's very warm. Mine. I'll rescue you for it. She like defeated and then she says that like uh no. Pulls it back and he goes, You got this scabbard. Yeah, and he got, got the skull. necklace. I got the necklace. It's not skull, it's like a finger bone. Okay. Oh, it's a finger bone. to you when you go to sleep. What? You can what? share it. Hmm. What did you say? It sings to you when you go to sleep. Oh. I've added yeah. both of you Zaggle to that one. Does yeah. No, you actually uh the, the, the Yeah. You hear the song, the lullaby that your mother's mother used to sing her to put her to sleep. And uh let's see. I'm playing <laughs> elf again. Four he hours rest. Back into the bag and he pulls <laughs> out a book. Oh. A what? Journal? Journal? Yeah. Journal. Somewhere on here. The Secret of the Donkey. Oh, yeah. that, yeah. It's a leather-worn, leather leather-bound book. 
And you recognize the writing on it, Jonathan. Jonathan, right? Mm-hmm. Jonathan. No, no, not Jonathan. Arthur, Arthur recognizes Arthur? the writing. Ooh, ooh. This was your mother's journal. A lot in here you won't understand. Oh. Some in here I do, but you should be able to read it. I grab it immediately. And do not try and perform any rituals that are in this book. Rituals? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. just look, uh, like, why would he not? <laughs> if he possesses his mother's gift. Because to attempt rituals of that scale without knowledge would be a very foolish thing to do. It seems very foolish. Mm, it would, but, but, I didn't but, say that out loud. I take it and uh, <laughs> put it in. Okay. Right. Well, to be so, fair, people didn't think detonating okay. gunpowder was a good idea either. It wasn't. Exactly. We have cannons now. That's what the cannon. Not a good idea. No. It's still flawless logic, though. <laughs> Makes a good point. He does. Uh, yes, but what's a cannon? See, uh, uh, see, I knew it. H doesn't make you smaller. No, you, you pull out one last cannon. Thing. You actually do know. Guns are new. Cannons have been around. Oh, Any- okay. Fair enough. Vincent. Mm-hmm. So, this is a list <laughs> that your father wrote with locations on it. I, right. Thank you. I, again, I, I know that you're not fond of questions, but I have a few. <laughs> I asked you if you had any questions earlier. You didn't yeah. say anything. Yes, but then you said that if question were to come, then a certain wolf would eat me. So that discouraged <laughs> me from asking these questions. No, I didn't say she'd eat you. I specifically told her you weren't food. You did strongly imply that he might be bitten, though. Thank you, John and Jonathan. Now shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh? <laughs> what are these poor jobs you had? Stop bullying John. <laughs> Sorry. Completely that, 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 That's going to be the theme of the campaign. Stop bullying John. Stop bullying John. Stop bullying John. Have you, have you, you remembered your questions? Uh, yes. Uh, my question was, where did you... These are all precious items from our parents. Where did you get these? These are From not your something... parents. Why would anybody trust you with anything? See, I would ask that, but but much more less rudely. Like I would ask it in a way that I I will. You see <laughs> that you well, it's better than and... trusting a lot of you with them. Mm. I will you. say that insult, I mean, like, oh, like, well, our... when you were little, like littler than the little that you are now. You are smaller than this, this, yeah, that's, this is a dwarf talking to humans. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dwarf talking to humans, two seven-foot-tall half-orcs, and a half-giant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only one in here smaller than the dwarf is the gnome. Yeah, I'm like six there's not a gnome in uh, I'm a six I mean, seven here. fucking demon. De- Declan <laughs> has a fair point. He has survived all this time when our parents haven't survived, so surely he must know his thing a thing or two. And, you know... Maybe they considered that as a him trustworthy. I, I you know what? Maybe this isn't a bad thing. That that Let's is a good point. Forward. Where all our parents were great fighters and strategists this and wizards. Destiny. How did you survive? He ran. I did my question. part. If you Uh, think that it was my choice to watch the man that I knew, since he was younger than you are now, put his head on the block for the executioner's axe, and to sit back and let him do it, if you think that I enjoyed... Each and every one of your parents, people that I knew since before they were your age, P- 
people that I brought together to fight the evils that used to roam this land. If you think that I enjoy... <laughs> your, fr- your voice you seems actually to be broke. doing yeah. you actually okay. a certain <laughs> voice all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry. If you... No. If you think that all I did was run and hide like a coward, I did not. I did what was necessary. I kept all of you safe from what was hunting you. I watched all of you as you grew up. Didn't keep my father safe. I couldn't keep your father safe. I I... couldn't keep any of your parents safe. (laughs) They made their decision. They made their sacrifice, and they put all their hope and their faith and their power into you so that now you could carry on where they left off and you could go face this evil and defeat it where they could not. My part in all of this is to bring you together, to train you, to help you grow in power so that when the day comes and we stare that bastard down, he won't see it coming. Arthur. That's my part in all this. That's why I have all these treasures from your parents. Because they knew when this day came that you would need pieces of your past to help fuel your resolve to fight. Then I have but one question. If we, I believe that we're fated to do something, where do we begin? We begin in the beginning. And he reaches back into the bag and he pulls out one last thing that I forgot was there. I need to get myself one of those bags. <laughs> <laughs> like I can make bag, you one bag of anything. Deal. Like... I'll give you gold. How about you let me look at your rifle? This. I'll give you gold. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, is this why you said this was our destiny? I pull out a, I pull out a scroll. Or we'll do that. A, well, no, I'm sorry. Casey reminded <laughs> me that I still had it, and I forgot that I had it. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. It's a scroll belonging to the Eighth Circle of Magic that was of Eliza's own making, and it's accompanied by a note written by her. This, the scroll still, the seal isn't broken on it. And it says a final gift for that bastard Volcara, the dude's name. I don't say it, obviously. I don't say it. I saw that look, Casey. So I got Say it. No. Just checking. We should come up with a new name for him. Yeah, the Something dark one. We can say. Vuvuzela. Yeah, no, no. It's called cunt. Yeah, no, uh, when, uh, when he's well, referred to... I'm going to hold on to this for safekeeping. Evil, evil bastard number one. Evil bastard number one. Yeah. Yeah, evil, evil bastard evil. number one. He, he's not the evil this time. Oh, it's the evil bastard number one this time. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not sticking with colors, huh? No, I'm the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, thought about, I thought about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to lay out all yeah, of the... Sorry. Turned into a very different game. <laughs> the the rumors and whatnot that we have, and now I guess we can start that discussion. I mean, Vincent would ask Arthur, like you said, this would be our destiny. Do you know something we don't? I know that I have been training for a very long time. That I saw my father, and he spoke to me about prophecy. That he said that I was made for a reason. That we were all made for a reason. To defeat the evil. I was given my powers by my god, Pelor. For a reason. That's right. Pelor's graces flow through me yeah good luck with that <laughs> hey <laughs> it's like i know how it is to have something flowing through you dude <laughs> I... this i am not ashamed of and you neither should you 
Thanks. Jesus. Thanks for trying not to snicker. Wait, 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 wait. I think I think you missed something. My dad sold uh, sold me as the bastard he was to an arc demon to give me to make me who I am. You know, he probably had a grand plan, but he's still a bastard. It happened. Use it to your advantage. Use it for good. Casey, I'm just gonna look around real fast and make sure that no one's listening. <laughs> I realized that after all. The place is empty. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm saying windows. Give me a perception I mean, check. I can... Uh, nah, I, I wouldn't be looking. I yeah. trust that Shyla's doing her job. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not great at perception. You don't see anything. Maybe John. Yeah. Maybe John will see something. No, John doesn't. Or does does he? He's fiddling with toys. Um, no. You Again, don't see the one with the worst perception got the better roll. <laughs> 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 now, Seagit, what the fuck? How can you always roll, roll so damn high? Don't take away my luck, so, please. The only thing I have. <laughs> well. <laughs> Shut up, Jonathan. Now, were those rumors you gave us out of all of our collective knowledge, as Casey? Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's um, all things that between all of you, you're able to come up with. Okay, so I, I, didn't, I got... didn't go through and say you know this, you know this, you know this, you know this. Mm -hmm. Did we? Uh, hmm? Didn't we? Sorry, I'm going to go off game. Didn't we agree that we were going to do one thing, or are we going to discuss it now? I uh, think now is the time I... to discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. We got into an argument if I remember right. Oh. Yeah. I I think I think several uh, brought up the point about the f 50 people that uh, are going to be executed. We really want to do something about it, but we realized that we probably don't have the power and the orcs would be uh, smarter uh, to hunt down the party. No, Not that's the... a diff that's a different thing. The 50 people who are being Executed because they can't find the last battle maiden. And then that's the one. That's the one. They we talked about doing this yeah. one because I've felt really strongly about it. But then, I, then everybody agreed or said that we don't probably have the possibility to stop them. Especially Seeger was really adamant about it. Uh, no, uh, I think our po point was that if we were to do this then uh, nothing is stopping him to, to just imprison 50 other people after yeah. that. Because yeah. the 50 people... He'll just go through however many people he needs to. Yeah, or, exactly. Or more. Because yeah. the root of the problem isn't the people in prison, it's the pe uh, person putting them there. For. And we can't really stop the person doing it. We're not powerful enough to do that. Not in Zar. That's the thing. Is like We're in a major city, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We so, would not see a chance. So, yeah, bear in mind, they, Zor is the capital of this world. Yeah. On, on yeah. The, you know, yeah. On the, so, in the Emperor's behalf. Logically, people then said something about some people hunting orcs, if I don't remember. It's, in yeah. the, it's the very bottom of Randall. If, yeah. if, I mean, if those, if that party were to just not you know, not report back or not... Yeah, I mean... And, oh, yeah, well, and, and it's not even that they were dispatched. They were going to do that to try yeah, and they did it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the way I see it, it's just awful. Oh. Exactly, it's just awful people doing awful things. And that's... That's... Out of... Uh, like... The government didn't do it, <laughs> so... Yeah. We're more fine doing vigilante business than we're doing yeah. actively that, disrupting that shit. Yeah, I think it's a, a good more place to start. Yeah, I also agree because I live there. So uh, I will. I will be the I'll one. To, uh, I will be the one because it is. This it specifically involves my character. Arthur mm -hmm. will bring up the fact that there are three knights of Aranas being yeah. held by the elite wolf guard. Yeah. Um, he doesn't know. He, he knows the fact that he, we cannot take elite wolf guard. Mm -hmm. He knows that we cannot take wolf guard at this point. Yeah. Mm. But at the what? same time, he can't help but think that maybe there's some way around getting them out. 
I where is it? So much for it's in Zar. It's in Zar, okay. It is mm. in the Wolfguard barracks. Oh yeah. I mean mm. I, again if even just consider this. If, if if even a single guard doesn't report back, it's it, it's on Zar the Zar's population, not yeah. Yeah. Not the knights. I, I mean we could do uh, that we need to f that we figure out when the execution of yeah. the knights are and when the execution of the fifty people are. It's it might be that both of them uh, is a ploy to uh, pull people out 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 of hiding, kind of like we are now. Mm. And uh, if it is like oh it's in three months and they will just hope that people tr will try to res uh, rescue them j during these three months. Then we will have as, at least time to figure out a way. I, I would like yeah. to know how long that exactly, is. yeah, the public yeah. execution of all of them. So, would uh, I know this case? Exactly, Kalish, who lived here. Um, give me just an intelligence check. Oh, we're fucked. He's high. Who? Everyone or Kalish? No, Kalish oh. specifically. Yeah. yeah, it would make sense for us because we don't live here. Yeah, we've never been to the city. 16. 16 is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you have heard rumor um, that the Wolf Guard seem to be gearing up for some big um, kind of festival execution mm. at the um, Full Moon Banquet, which is no. about three and a half minutes. You're you're just past one full moon, okay. and it's for the next next one they're going up. Yeah, so you've, one got, month. you've got almost. Yeah, a month, that's basically. the argument. All. So one month, basically, almost mm -hmm. one month. I'll bring that up then. I just you 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 haven't specifically heard that it's nights, no. but you know that they're no. gearing up for some big festival. Yeah. You know, execution. And I will, and I will say, and that nights will be the perfect. Nights. Yeah, then perfect it, it, we basically make one on one. We would figure that out between us. Yeah, yeah. I and difficult. I say, and I do say, I am a, um, what's the word for it, Casey? An, an initiate. Um, yeah. Technically, right what? now, you'd you'd probably call yourself a squire. A squire. Yeah. I am a squire of the Knights of Arrhenus, and I would very much. Take it as a personal. Um, what's the word? Uh, favor. Favor. Debt. Personal favor. Personal debt. If we saved these three knights, or at least one of them, at least one of them. If we could save all three, I would be ecstatic. But if we I, could I, save at least one, I, I think there's rumors we found that all of us would. Greatly like to solve. Yeah. In would be mm. pretty much in debt to the others if we could do it. Like, oh. we, we don't want to see our family killed. Yeah. No. All of our family be... is in. Uh, yeah. I mean, he would uh, <laughs> then. Uh, Arthur says that then Vincent would say, well, it would uh, be very beneficial to have a few nights in. Owing us a favor, but how I'll do you imagine Sorry, guys. that we will uh, deal with uh, such a uh, certain situation? Considering, we, as dishonorable it is, I believe the best idea is to sneak in and get an escape route for them. I believe I may have an option. Let's hear it. We could put them inside this. And he holds up his box. He says, we could just walk them out. Okay, so I will long just as they remove have an this egg. glass from you. I realized that it I... was watered down air, but you shouldn't even have that, apparently. <laughs> I do not I... think that they could fit in that. <laughs> yes. They and I doubt, it would be, I doubt we would be allowed inside. <laughs> that we still well, need to sneak in anyway. Yeah. It's a good just plan, Twiggy. It, it is a good, good idea, so... Back. Oh god, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just gonna say it. Is it bigger on the inside? Uh, oh no, he, he, already, he, he already He made showed. the point that it is bigger on the inside. No, he already yeah. showed yeah. that it is. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. what about the 50 residents that are being held? 
Yeah, I couldn't fit inside this box. No, <laughs> I'm asking. We do know that they're also bound to be either shipped up off to prison or executed because of one of them might be the ba battle maid or not. It's more of the lords of the area who are failing in the task and this is his tribute to compensate for that fact. I want it's in the area and I would just like to know if we or anyone local here and he will look at college would know when this would happen. I would yeah. also like to save the innocent lives. The, yeah, um, I mean, Kalak and Declan especially would probably be aware that the 50 residents in all likelihood are being held and this has been made publicly known because they are they are counting on the fact that Catherine of Mord will not want 50 people to die for her and will try to come rescue them mm. and they can use that as a trap to capture her. Yeah. Okay, so we can basically also go into a trap there. So it's trap A uh, how or trap many, B or... How many <laughs> guards are guarding those 50 people? Uh, well, half a dozen half guards. Thousand. But again, if but it's a most trap... Most of them are local, so they might not be wolf guard. Yeah, but again, that, that's rumor. If it's a trap, yeah. that's m most likely like, oh, okay. half a dozen guard. Oh, fuck you, it's elite guards and we're gonna take you the fuck out because you're the last that bad and... maiden. Is uh, quick out of question. Is there actually proof that they even have fifty, or are they just saying that they have fifty? Um, they're gathering up people in the streets all the time to drag them in for oh, various okay. things or another. So, so they very well could have even more people. They're just the, not yeah, holding them right the, now. Yeah, the the odds are that they might have more than fifty at any given time, but these specific fifty apparently have been set aside specifically earmarked for if we don't if Catherine doesn't show up we're going to kill them do i know yeah. who they are casey are they just random they literally picked a neighborhood at random kind of threw a dart at a dartboard and went door to door and, and whoever, out of homes. whoever happened to be home um they basically found 50 people who answered their door um until, until they got to that number, basically. So one should have been rude, actually, and not open the door. Like, I'm on the toilet. No, I can't go right now. So. Yeah, but if they if they hear you or smell you inside and you don't open the door, then a lot of times they'll kill you on the they'll come in and kill you on the spot. Uh, okay. Uh, so no, what I'm, I'm hearing is that there's 